Hello, welcome to another Nezzo's Bad Shop uh, unboxing. This one is a very special sweaty ass one because things say limited and things have crazy looking symbols and characters from a Japanese language I can't even read. But there's a big 100 there and then there's a fancy number here which is the first time these guys at Yokomo have done a numbered limited addiction addiction addition it's kind of a limited addiction you know kind of that kind of sort of thing <clears throat> version of the YD2 there it is the picture of it that's the letters combination the ZX and you even want to know the price of this car well I'll tell you it near it makes near makes no difference etc blah 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 it's almost two thousand dollars and why is it $2,000, you ask? Well, limited edition means, well, they've said this before, limited edition, and then they just kept putting out different versions of versions. However, this one has lots of fancy doodads and extra bits that I don't even think have even been released separately yet. Uh, they're brass versions of pieces. And this number 100 represents uh, total number of uh, manufactured units of this particular version, only 100. And out of the 100, this is number 60. I was really hoping for like a 69, but <laughs> that didn't happen. Uh, so for your uh, generous donation to Yokomo, you receive a very fancy limited edition box, I guess, because there's not much on it except a few of the stickers around it. And there's not much detail on it. doesn't tell you too much about the car. Uh, it does have cool world champion uh, seal on it on both sides. The other boxes don't have that. Um, but yes, uh, aside from that, what I can tell you is this version is pre-assembled, whereas the other version uh, I bought the purple normal ZX, <laughs> normal ZX, <laughs> the normal ZX one, yeah, I bought the purple one and that one was a kit, so I had to build that one, but this is pre-assembled, so they've saved me four and a half to five hours worth of work, so that's, that's nice, um, but I, I will ver check it and verify every screw and bolt, because you never know uh, before I drive it, uh, but that will be very cool, and um, Basically, uh, this is this is the chassis it's based off of before I crack it open. This is the YD2 ZX purple that released only a couple months ago. So that car is basically this car with all the fix-ins and trim-ins and special new brassery pieces, etc. And yeah, it's like literally double the car. So that's the uh, magical part of that. And you also don't get electronics as well. So. <laughs> That's the other thing, but we're, we're going into super sweaty territory here. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, let's cut it open and take a look and see what's inside the box. And I swear to God, Yokomo, if you don't put effing fucking stickers in this, I swear to God, I'm gonna write you an angry email. <laughs> they normally don't, oh, I got one here. You want a big one? I always have one my off to the side, you know? <laughs> well, so right. uh, we'll cut this thing open. And we'll see what's inside the special edition box. I really hope there's stickers, to be honest. You know how it is with car guys. We all know how it is as car guys, real car guys. You spend like $5,000 on upgrades, you want a free sticker. Yes, open it, Mr. Julian. Slowly but steady, the big reveal. What do we see first? She's free and clear. Oh, a manual. Nice. <laughs> So we get a manual, that's really cool. The, I guess we can call this the latest testament. <laughs> Bible. <laughs> you can go, wait, 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 wait. Before we go any further, we usually kind of throw all that stuff in there. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Is this like free ticket admission thing? What the hell is this? No, probably not. It's probably just like a, here's, here's where we're located. But that's pretty cool. We're gonna have to find out what that is. Figure, see if we can figure out what that is. Notice. Oh, I remember this. Yes. Okay. This is because this is if you were to build it, they literally, they did. They did it too. They did something man. with no, not the tune. They did something with the screws in the bags, and before they were the the screws were were set in bags per step, and then they just fired all all of them into one bag, and you have to figure it out per step. I think that's what they did. Something stupid like that. It was like smart but stupid. I don't know. I didn't overly like it. I'm just wanting to see if there's stickers in here before we go ahead. Well, the stickers are very... Yeah, would, that would be cool. So yeah. when are we going to Japan? 
Mercury. Right. Sukuba Arena. I, think, I don't know. That's Sukuba. That's no, that's not even Yatabi. That's Sukuba Arena. Yeah. We can go to the Sukuba track too. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, we haven't found stickers yet, so we'll see if we find stickers. Ah, Yield Batwing. I love it. It's gonna cost me. The flight's gonna Let's be four see. grand there and back, but I got it free. <laughs> It'll be good, right? I got it free. Uh, this is okay. The bumper they haven't put mm. on, and some of the bits, the servo horn, obviously, because there's the no electronics. Fiber bumper? Uh, I believe so. Yes, they give you a foam bumper though, which they yeah. didn't give in one of the other cars. That oh, yeah, pinion. The carbon is there. Yeah. Yes, that pinion. There's the car. As you yeah, can see down okay. there. That pinion looks like a 22. I think that's the Z they spec'd it up. I remember something like that. Well, there's the car, and how do we get it out? Let's see. Me and the boss here will figure it out. Oh, that's nice. That's some kind of nice packaging. They put it in a bag, too. Wow. You want to you unbag it? Ooh. Yes. Oh, she's already ready to go. So, I believe, from what I read, this car uh, was... Ha or, or has parts hand selected by one of the Yokomo factory drivers, and I believe it's his setup or tune on it. Gold. Yes, that's the gold. That's Those it. are the gold brassy parts. Damn. Those were the sweaty upgrades that the standard car, this one, oh, does oh, not have. See, look, plastic, holy. plastic, plastic, regular aluminum, which is still nice, but not brass, Silver not aluminum. brass metal, gold gold plastic, plastic. Rear. So here, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum with the brass spindle upgrade, brass metal gold it says right on it brass can you mm -hmm. see it in there brass. Aluminum. yep aluminum knuckles aluminum brass rear new aluminum knuckles the light light slide rack can you see in there see the extra cutouts mm -hmm. see the extra cutouts and crucially you oh, notice yeah. notice there are no carbon pieces top and bottom it's one piece come on yeah so yeah. that's the light light this Whoa. this car let me hear bring it over no, here get that mic. see look this is what i was saying <laughs> This car, see this slide rack here? Carbon pieces, not one piece. One piece. Lightweight, light, lightweight. All right, cool. <laughs> so there they are. Now I gotta change that in my car. Yep, so yeah, that's right. You're gonna have to change it. Uh, what else can we look at? Yeah, so carbon fiber front bumper brace, as you thought, Brett. The latest version of the bulkhead for the latest version of the slide rack. That's a nice touch. Yes, there's the limited number sticker piece. Yep. It's, ooh, it's like one of those like aluminum-y kind of sticker piece thingy, what you call it. Nice, number 60. I like it. And... Yeah, stoppers as stock. That's sort of the stock. But look at all the lock we're getting on that. That's really good. Uh, yeah, and this, these parts are very similar. Pretty much the same decks carbon up and over. Carbon fiber battery holder, the brass bits. Transmission, that feels pretty smooth. Yep. Already. Standard diff, but it's the aluminum out drive. And that rear shock tower looks aluminum. Looks new. Well it's aluminum, yes, yeah. but that looks new. Yeah, that looks like new design. It's squared off. Yep. Uh, if we compare it to the standard car, we will oh. find that. It is actually Identical. the same part. Okay. And we are crazy. It is the same. Okay. I wasn't <laughs> sure, but no, yeah. it did look different to it me. Did, too. It did look it different in the off. one angle. Crucially, what else I'm noticing as I just look between the two cars, I can see the the, the pre setup of the factory driver, uh, his uh, preferencing and all that. But thank God I see preload on the shocks. <sighs> Every single YD2 manual doesn't tell you how much preload you should or ideally put on your car. So everybody builds their shocks and everybody bottoms out right away. <laughs> this is very common of many drift kit though. So that's not really a Yokomo only thing, but that's actually nice to see. So this looks like, yeah, it has actually been tuned. I'm not sure if it's been it's run, but it's been set like up that. to a tune. It's definitely been set up to a tune. This car is set up to the factory spec, the, the kit spec. So there, I can already see a couple of differences, but obviously there's way different parts here. Carbon fiber shock tire, aluminum. So things like that. Um, subtle little differences here and there. But overall, this looks really nice. And aside from the numbering that's right here, the other special piece of that, or the other special, yeah, the other special edition, was the flames on the bottom. Because on the, on the normal car, <laughs> I don't know why I keep taking it away. But on the normal car, yeah, no flames. 
But it is the same plate, though. It's definitely the same plate. Oh, hello. And you can see the differences. Lower it's arm, painted. lower arm, lower arm, lower arm. It's is painted, that painted on? Yeah. Ooh, nice. It's not a, it's not a decal, is it? I don't think it? it's a decal. It might, no, it kind of, is paint? I'm pretty sure. It kind of looks like a sticker, Maybe. but it might be paint. I don't know. I don't I'm not sure. It yeah. <laughs> Feels like, it's like paint, it's like but it's printed. something, yeah. Like it doesn't feel like sticker, but it feels like it's quality, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. They've done something here. They've done good. something very cool. Very good. There you go. It's actually not. At first, we just thought it was kind of like the flaming YD2, yeah. <laughs> just because it had lit this flame pattern. It was like one of those cars that had the flames shooting down the side of it. So that's kind of we were joking about it. But then when we analyzed it, look, you can see all those cutaways in, in the slide rack there in the bottom. Jesus Murphy, that's a mm. lot. But that is one piece. I actually didn't notice that in the photos, that it was actually one piece and had the carbon bits. So yeah, that's pretty sweaty. Um, well, that's the chassis. Um, let's put it just over here for a second. I was still looking for stickers, which guess what? I don't think there's any stickers in here. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I don't know what Yokomo is doing with all the stickers, but they probably have a warehouse full of stickers. There's, there's wow. no stickers in here. We found the Sakuba Arena thingy. That was kind of cool. What? Nope. Those are double side tape, tape pieces. That's an addendum. Oh, it should be a sheet of stickers. There should be a sheet of stickers. Like even even for a while in the higher end cars I was unboxing, they were, they didn't even have the sticker sheets that matched the car. It was just YD2 plus. So there was a sticker sheet, but it didn't say RX or SX3 or whatever. Oh. That's a little annoying. Meanwhile, over in Sakura and MST land, you get stickers every single time. And not only that, the three racing ones have been pretty cool. The Sakura stickers are pretty cool. They've been pretty cool, but yeah. Sure. Going through here, there's new stickers. So maybe if they're saying, look, we, we, don't know how to, we don't know how to do stickers anymore. Our sticker game is weak, but they gave us that cool, where is it? This cool thing, which looks like possibly an admission ticket to scuba arena but i don't think so actually Maybe i think it's i think it's stickers. it might be a st <laughs> could you imagine the coupon for free stickers someone well, someone help me in the comments translate this scuba RC park, scuba or i'll go arena. look it up later but, but yeah it's either like a business card or it's uh it looks like a, a coupon yeah, like or a something yeah. something yeah Someone tell us, like or we'll pass. Google it, but that's pretty day cool. Pass. So if we don't get stickers, but if that it turns out to be a day pass, then okay, fine, yo, come on, you dodged a bullet. Uh. <laughs> but like, Lord of mercy, how, how long is it gonna take you to get your stickers together? You have a brand new chassis coming, do you not, yo, come on? The YD2, as we know it, is becoming a historic vintage classic collectible, Julian. So that means well, that, that's one reason for that, but for this car, but all the rest of them now are collectibles like Pokemon. So I mean, the value you could, up. I don't know, does value go up or down? I don't know. They have so many flavors. You saturated the market. What are you going to do now? But you have, Yokomo does have a new car coming and this version, the ZX, super sweaty, I guess we'll call it, is the final rendition, supposedly, maybe. Unless they pull the, a Pagani with the Zonda and they announce the last version, then they announce three more versions of that, and then two more versions of one of those versions, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So it could be one of those things, who knows, but um, us four standing here are excited to see this thing in action and see how the tune goes and the, the drivability of this car. If it's anything like it's the one it's based off of, which is funny to say, the basic ZX. <laughs> uh, it, it should be pretty good. And this is tuned supposedly uh, one of the Yokomo factory driver's tunes. I forget the gentleman's name, but it is. It was the parts were handpicked and the settings were uh, selected by him. You can, I think, the setting sheet actually. Usually they provide you a blank setting sheet, and then they'll provide you a tuned one. Z setting sheet empty. Z setting sheet empty. Okay. Nope unless they, they did that by accident, but um, usually they do. So I think the, 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 guy's, the, the guy's setup is available on their website or something like that. They always do that stuff, but yes, yeah, so other than that, uh, not much more to tell you other than there was no stickers, but we did get a fancy coupon-y looking thingy for Scooter Drifter in it. This, this is all of a sudden not, not cooperating. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> how are the shocks feeling? Yeah, how are the shocks? And it, these are the option in Yokomo shocks as well. Yeah. So they feel pretty good. Soft, actually. Nice. So, 
I think this piston. also has, yes, the six hole pistons, the blue O-rings, optional bladders. It has cool. the option Yokomo Springs, I know that, because the Z basic kit gives you those, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so you get all the shock upgrades. I imagine it's 50 weight oil. It's probably this stuff in it. I'm gonna have to look and verify that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we should have a super soft setting. You know what's interesting though, actually? A lot of us here. Oh, it's front hand rear. Look at this. I just noticed. Yeah. We typically tune for the, the long hat. We, we get rid of the short hats and we put on uh, the, long, the long hat. Even on this ZX, it's short hat. And I remember the instructions saying short hat. So that car has the short, the short hat on it, but we typically put the long hat for more travel uh, to accommodate the software suspension setting. So even this factory driver left them as short hats. Interesting. Yeah. So that's, a, that's an interesting little setup thing mm -hmm. I'm noticing. Hey, look, we got body pins. That's nice, wow. but we ain't got no body. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> it's a pretty sweaty car. But at least there's body pins and they do give you the option pieces, the pinions in there, the uh, servo horn is in there, the, the one that is for this car. So that's kind of nice. And you do get a, a foam bumper with it because one of the other cars, the higher end ones, they didn't have a foam bumper and I was surprised. They didn't have it in the kit. But yeah, so it's nice that they give you that stuff and um, a bag to put it in and a cool Sakuba ticket. But no stickers, but that's the sticker that matters, crucially. That's the one that matters. That's the one I care about. And yeah, probably some others in my collection will have to find a new home. But until we drive this and whether I fall in love with it completely or not, we'll see. But it, there's lots of tuning here. Crucially, I also noticed, other than those other parts, wait, is there, they should give us the extra bushings, no? The bushings for the suspension blocks, those those pieces, because the kit gives you the the whole set of the AB or the one, two, three, four, five, all that, but I don't see them in here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's that's another little thing. Just notice. So those bushings that go in there that you'd use to just tow or the the width just at the bushing, these pieces. In the kit you get the full set, one, two, three, four, five, of the little bushings. But in this car you don't get the extra pieces. They I guess you forgot to throw them in or you just don't get them. But that would be nice because I personally want to, I already see after, I, by preference, I like a little more tow than what's factory, but we're going to drive this as is, but I'm just thinking for after. Yeah, it doesn't have those, so interesting, very interesting. Well, if you're one of the other 99 people that secured one of these bad boys, let me know what you think. If you've already got it going, like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts. If you have a regular ZX, regular ZX. Uh, yeah, let me know as well what you think or, um, you know, if you're thinking of going up to this or if you're thinking of just getting some of the upgrades that are actually on this car and you're thinking for your ZX, tell me your thoughts and what you're thinking of upgrading because for sure the spindles are nice, you know, brass here is more fancy than, you know, really upgrading from the standard aluminum, it's just more bling. Um, the hub carriers though, that's nice because you don't get those on the standard ZX, you don't get those, you don't get these uh, aluminum pieces, you don't get the carbon shock tower, so there is a couple of stuff that you don't get the light, light slide rack, a couple little things like that, um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think, like, comment, subscribe, thank you for watching, and stay tuned, and within the next week or so we'll have some running footage of this thing get my gimbal going and run around the track and get some up close footage of this in action and some onboard and all that stuff and yes other than that have a good day or night or wherever you are and we'll see you next time